lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. It looks like there's trouble in paradise between Tamar Braxton and Jeremy Robinson, or from what Jeremy is saying, there was no paradise in the beginning. Yes, last night, Tamar Braxton decided to expose her ex-fiance, Jeremy Robinson, on her Insta story by posting this young lady, I guess she's assuming or alleging that this is the woman who Jeremy was messing with. And this is what she posted last night, and I guess she was so mad she couldn't spell things right. She said, played in my face for a 25-year-old, shaking my head then she said tool and she meant to say took took my jewelry and took me to turks and all along had a whole triumph and she also said that she h-a-t-e him and she tagged jeremy okay now jeremy decides to respond today by making this video and he completely embarrassed tamar by saying actually i wasn't even with you so why are you upset you were just my friend ciao anyways let's go ahead and get into his video you know i initially was gonna take the high road in this situation and not say anything but the reality is i cannot keep getting attacked my character can't keep getting attacked I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety. And someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. I, I am in no way wanting to attack anybody. My purpose in, in my life has always been to protect. I haven't ran to social media every time something happened to me in that relationship. Because trust me, with all the receipts and all the things that have happened, I could have, but I chose to do what a real man does and that is protect the person that I've been with. In this situation, I'll be very clear. I've been single for the last six months. We have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm gonna date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if, if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a reconciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing is because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. I went to New Orleans. I booked my room at Four Seasons on booking.com and didn't realize that the card I'm using, which also ends in the same three last numbers, was tied to something that we booked several months ago. No harm, no foul. We're talking $900. Stop it. While I'm in New Orleans for a funeral, my really good 25 plus year friend who passed away, I spent time with his family. I extended my stay because I needed time to reset. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I extended. I gave them my card and everything's good. Why? What's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. This is funny. Ha ha ha. What, what are you talking about? Well, I thought we can friends, we can talk about it, but this is laughable. I didn't stay with anybody at Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. Didn't, wasn't on a date, none of that. If I was, you're my friend. What do I have to hide about that? Um, I'll just say cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Um, I have never led Tamar Braxton on. I never will, nor will I. There are people, the name drop, but hey, Carlos King, you've got me involved in this. You're part of the reason why we became friends. Um, but I've been very clear about my boundaries. I've been very clear about wanting to have a friendship, but not to the extent that Yo, friends don't throw each other on 
on their stories and call each other out on stuff. Like, look, if there was a mix up with the card because of booking.com, yo, that's a quick fix. It's already taken care of. I've already contacted the Four Seasons and they've already issued a refund and they charge my card. It's that simple. Where did this random woman come in that you called a trap? Somebody I became friends with on Instagram like maybe three days ago. It's just a reach and I'm tired of having to stay quiet and not defend myself. Yo, mental health is real and I understand how sometimes anxiety can get the best of us, but you just don't go on social media and start attacking somebody you say that you love, that you care for as a friend. And, and then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool, man. And uh, the unfortunate reality is I thought that I could be friends uh, and try to maintain some type of friendship, but I, I, that relationship is done. And I didn't want to come out and, like six months ago and be like, hey, I'm single again, because then people are like, oh, you're sassy. But this is the reason why I did it last time, because of this assumption that I'm leading somebody on and that I'm cheating. I have never cheated in my life. Find a woman that will tell you I cheated on her. I'm not successful because I cheat. When I'm committed, I'm completely committed. Now, I'm not gonna go there. There's a lot more I could talk about. I'm not gonna do it because this isn't about revenge. This is about saying, hey, wait a minute. This shouldn't have happened. Picking up the phone and talking calmly and saying, hey, Jay, I got charged in my card. You stayed at Four Seasons. Okay, cool. But then you had to find a, a random narrative to go with it. It's, it's messed up and, and the truth is now there's potential defamation behind it because I don't even know this person, never met her in my life. Never even had a DM with her. Again, here I am defending myself because of all of these assumptions and all these internet bullies who don't have a clue, not one thing, of, to, they don't know nothing about me. Super embarrassing for Tamar for Jeremy to speak out and say, hold on, we were just friends. But Tamar kind of brought this on herself with her bringing this situation to social media. Now, I do feel kind of bad for her because, like I said, for this man to come out and be like, we were just friends. So why are you tripping? Basically, that's what he said in the video. Yeah, it is embarrassing. But why would you post this woman? You don't even know if this man was messing with this woman or not. OK, she didn't even have her facts straight. Obviously, the situation is making her look bad on the blogs and she is, I don't think she really gets it, okay? Now, for her and Jeremy, I think it's best at this point, like he said in the video, for them to move on because they can never stay good for too long. It just seems like something always happens between the two. And usually that's a sign where you just need to let go and date or be with other people. And I think Tamar would benefit from just moving on from Jeremy. I think she really had this big obsession or infatuation with trying to be with Jeremy because even like he said last year when they got back together after being apart after he was running to Tommy and talking about Tamar with Tommy yeah he was talking about oh Tamar I'm surprised that she was willing to fight for me the way that she did and I'm like Tamar why are you fighting for this man like if you mess up with someone ladies here's some advice either just apologize and maybe you guys can move forward but nine times out of ten apologize do what you got to do and just leave that situation alone okay because no way tamar let this man sit up in her face and be like oh i only want to be friends with you and she's still trying to run the nine yards she's still trying to do thing after thing to prove to him i can be more than just your friend i can be a good woman i can be your girlfriend like why well, want a man that bad and i just don't understand what tamar seen in him to the point where she's willing to fight she's hanging around your children and i think jeremy he can't be oblivious he can't act like he was just completely oblivious obviously tamar likes you obviously you knew this woman wanted to be more than just friends with you and you're sitting here acting like oh i don't understand where all this is coming from we're just friends you know that woman like you more than just friends you know that she was trying to do everything that she was doing to prove to you that she could be a good stepmommy because he has about five or six children by another woman but you're sitting over here acting so surprised. You know that woman had feelings there. So let's not do that. But that's not really his responsibility. His responsibility was to tell Tamar that we are just friends, nothing more. And for her to take that and figure out what she wants to do. He even told Tamar she could date other people and she didn't want to do that. That's what happens, ladies, when you play these games of 
oh i didn't hear what he said you heard what he said he just wants a friendship aka he don't want you like that he didn't want you like that and he was waiting for you to mess up like you did to completely end things and now things are over okay don't play these games with nobody female male anyone okay y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below who child like i said super embarrassing i hope tamar will be okay maybe she'll come out with the new song i'm here for it y'all let me know what y'all think once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night